Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this week I will be showing you guys what I usually eat at home. I will be cooking some healthy delicious recipe so let's get started. Today I'm making a stir fry noodles with tomato sauce, vegetables, and fish cake. So here I'm just cutting some zucchini bell peppers. Don't forget to take out the white part because it kind of tastes bitter. And I'm just cutting it in strips. I know these look like tofu sheets, but they're actually fish cake sheets. And watch me struggle to cut them here. And I'm just cutting some onions here. Isn't it satisfying to peel an onion? At least that's what I think. Look at that shiny onion. Onions are really good for your immune system, so eat lots of them to prevent yourself from getting sick. avocado oil while adding the bell pepper. I'm adding zucchini later because they cook faster. After they become a little bit translucent, then I will add the fish cake in. And here I'm adding a little bit of chili pepper to spice things up. This is the marinara sauce I use. It's really good, it's got really great ingredients and then you can get it for a low price at Costco. And then afterwards just add in the zucchini and noodles and you're done. And then I'm just adding some parmesan cheese on top for that extra umami. That looks so good. I wish I could have a bowl right now. The noodles are actually made from wonton skin, so they're extra smooth. Ugh, so good, so good. And then I'm adding some seaweed. I'm wrapping the noodles with some bean sprouts. It's so good. It adds like some seafood flavor if you like seafood. But even if you don't, it doesn't have that fishy taste. So don't knock it until you try it. This is my OOTD for today. This mini skirt from um, Brandy Melville. The sweater I got from, um, well actually my mom got for me from Marshall. This leather hat from Uniqlo. And I'm wearing a Uniqlo um, heat tech to keep myself warm. So yeah. <laughs> Monday morning breakfast, bagel with strawberry cream cheese, um, avocado, strawberry, 
and a chrysanthemum tea. Yummy! For today's menu, we have miso soup, beef and broccoli, avocado yuzu salad with rice. To measure how much water you need for the rice, it's usually a one section of your finger on top of the rice, and I just go by my gut feeling. I don't really measure how much water I add. And then here I'm chopping some broccoli to put it into the miso soup. And here I'm peeling the outside part of the broccoli stem because that part is tough, but once you peel off all the um, outer layer, it becomes really soft and tender. So here I'm just cutting the broccoli stem into little bite-sized pieces so it's easier to eat. And I'm gonna blanch them first. So cutting up some tofu to put into the miso soup. This is my favorite brand of tofu. It's from Costco. I'm just cutting it into little cubes. I'm gonna add a bag of the dashi powder in it. It's just bonito flakes that I got from Costco. And then we're gonna wait for it to boil. This is the bonito broth packet that I got from Costco. As you can see, it has no MSG and it adds a great umami flavor to anything. Now I'm adding in the miso. So stirred in, I added some broccoli and tofu as well. Now it's time to make the salad. For salads, I usually just cut up whatever vegetables I like and then I just put it into a bowl and dress it with whatever dressing I like. I usually do something sour, something creamy, and a little bit salty. And since I'm adding avocado later, I won't be adding any oil. And here I'm just cutting up some little cucumbers. For cucumbers, you have to mash them like this in order for the flavors to absorb. It's really satisfying. I recommend you to try it at home sometimes. After smashing it, I'm going to cut it into little pieces. 
Ooh, that avocado though. Who doesn't love a perfect avocado? For today's dressing, I'll be adding some rice vinegar. It's a little bit sweet and sour. And then I'm adding some hemp seeds for extra protein. I'm also adding an apple for that natural sweetness. It's really refreshing. To eat an apple in a salty salad, I think. Recently, I got this from Costco. It's a yuzu miso dressing sauce, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna try it on my salad. Actually, I'm going to add some tahini that I got from Trader Joe's. a little bit of turmeric and I'm gonna activate the turmeric with some black pepper let's mix it up and here I'm making broccoli beef I marinated the beef with some garabi seasoning that I got from the supermarket overnight and then I'm just stir frying with some broccoli. Doesn't that look so good? And then here's the rice. Look how perfect it is. See, you don't need measure. You just gotta go with your gut feeling. <laughs> the miso soup actually looks kind of bland here, but it's good. Trust me. With that soup packet, the flavor is phenomenal and then I decided to take a walk after lunch is this a forbidden I garden? <laughs> I just walked aimlessly and discovered this garden inside a building it looks so pretty and then I found this like turf area, so I decided to work out for like five minutes. And then I was trying to see if I can work out on that machine, but this person, oh my god, he scared me so much. So awkward! Okay, I, then I decided to leave. Really, seriously, thank you so much. And for tonight's menu, we have potato, bell pepper, sausage, stir fry, stir fry, cabbage with vinegar, and chestnut rice. So, here I'm just cutting the potato into little cubes. And 
then the same thing with the green bell peppers. Cut them into almost the same size as the potatoes. Don't waste any part of the green bell pepper. And then I soak the potato cubes into water to get rid of some of the starchiness. And then I chopped up some onions into cubes as well to match the other two vegetables. chopping up these breakfast sausages that I got from Costco. They have really clean ingredients and I really like them. So right now I'm stir frying the potatoes with onions and green bell pepper first with some avocado oil and then I added a little bit of water and covered it to cook for 10 minutes so everything can get softened. I forgot to film me stir frying the cabbage with vinegar, but I'll show you guys next time. But after that, you just add some salt and pepper in it, and it's basically done, and it's so good. And I'm having some of the wine that I got from Trader Joe's with my dinner. It's really sweet and fruity and these are the dishes that's it for this week's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next week don't forget to drink lots of water and stay warm stay healthy bye